Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Kyle's Daily Bad Words of Wisdom. I don't think I need to tell you, because you're looking at it, but here's some WTF fun facts. Check this out. This guy really shouldn't have climbed on top of that barricade right there, because he was carrying a flare. And that's what happens when you get hit with pepper spray when you're holding a flare. He burst into flames. That is a really true fact. <laughs> and secondly, a man named Leslo Porgel developed a method to raise child prodigies. He wrote a book on it, married a language teacher, and he raised two of the 11 current female chess grandmasters in the world. So, pretty much working out for him. This, unfortunately, did not work out for this guy. He was a white supremacist and a racist. Went on live television. Craig Cobb said that he would take a genetic test and received the results in live television. He found out that he was 14% Sub-Saharan African. That'd be funny to see him find out. And here we go. I guess you shouldn't force a smile, people. I always did. No, come on. Pretend to be happy. Do it. Smile. I tried it, and then eventually people smile. Jacket. But actually, this could make people lead to depression and anxiety. Because people that think positive thoughts, thoughts that aren't actually happy result in actually harmful for the person and can really definitely lead to depression and anxiety. I kind of went away. Said, oh, there you go. And he just a happy little fellow. That's me, by the way. Hello. Not that I'm depressed. I'm healthy. Here we go. <laughs> anyway, sorry. All right. Beauty pageants for children under 16 are banned in France, and it is punishable in two years in prison. So the ringleaders of that is going down. $30,000 euros. Yeah, you know. If we adjusted for inflation, the movie Gone for the Wind has made a staggering $33 billion, making it the top grossing movie in the world. There is actually a sport called archery tag, where it's basically dodgeball, but they use foam tipped arrows. Look, they're not even wearing safety gear. Yeah, they're foam tips. That'd be the point of safety gear. Like paintball. You gotta use stub arrows with stubs and wear gear. <laughs> In 1978, a student working a minimum wage job could pay for school in four years of college with no debt. In the end. So if you worked a minimum wage job, you could go to college and pay for the entire thing. By the time you were done with college, you would not be in debt. You'd be able to pay for it. Alright, check this guy. Dialing this in. Dialing it in. I mean, he's got like a protractor up there. He's just double checking stuff. Whatever that is, it looks like, I'd say. China had a plan for the 2008 Olympics to utilize 30 aeroplanes, 40,000 rocket launchers, and 7,000 anti-aircraft guns with various chemicals in an attempt to stop the rain. If they had the Olympics there, they would do all this to make sure it did not rain. Crazy. 
Well, we'll end on that, people. Take her easy, everybody. Definitely don't take it like this guy. Or this guy, for that matter. Peace.